Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, just a quick tutorial on how I do color correction when I work on my video projects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here we have right now is a open project that I have. Uh, I got footage of my daughter here blowing bubbles. As you can see. Yeah. It needs to be rendered out, so I have this red bar here. But um just to show you how I do my color correction within Premiere Pro on itself. Uh, so I shot this on the HV40 using a 35mm adapter with a Canon uh, lens and uh, obviously you have to flip it when you bring it in post because when you film it it's upside down. But anyways, first let's get to it. Uh, let's select the clip. As you can see here, over here you got all your parameters to mess with. We want to add uh, some video effects to play with the color. So open up your video effects in the palette here. And If you go down to color correction, first thing I usually add is, um, where is it? Right here, three-way color corrector. Just drag that to the clip. Now if you open it up, <coughs> the clip is already pretty much well balanced. Uh, it's not off in any way. If it is, you need to fix that first. But anyways, what I usually do is I take the lows here and I bring it down towards the bluish green area, like sort of a teal area. And you can already see it's taking the effect there on the, the side here and towards the shadows. The shadows, her hair is starting to turn teal in a way. Um, and then when, what you do is you grab the mids and you go the opposite direction. You boost a bit on the skin tone colors. You can already see it starting to take place there. And also with the highs, just boost it up a little bit more. Okay, now you see it's a little oversaturated. But don't worry about that. Um, if I move ahead, uh, let me see if I can show you some problems that that may cause. Okay, wait a minute. Where is it? Right there. Can you see over here how there's like an obvious line of where the two colors, they don't blend together? Now, it's, the way to fix that is you go over here to your tonal range definition, open this arrow, and what you do is you pull this triangle just until it blends in. See that? How it, now it's blend in. Okay, a lot of movies you see, like Transformers and all that, you see all the dark parts are like a teal color and the skin tones are <coughs> still skin tone color. So we don't finish there. What we want to do now, I have this other clip here for reference. If I click on it, uh, we want to add a tint. Okay. Remember I was telling you it's oversaturated? Okay, what I usually do... Let's, let me minimize this as I get a tint filter from the effects palette. Drag it on top. Okay, hang on, do that again. Tag it, drag it on top. If I open this up, you have a matte black to this color, matte white to this color. So we just click on the black and we're gonna, we're gonna choose a sort of a teal color again real dark though. Not black, but just a bit. See that change? Okay, now we're gonna map the white to a sort of a skin tone color. Go to a bit of an orange. That's about right. And then we're gonna go high. Not white, but just a little below white. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit OK. And as you can see, we have that now. And now we're going to set the amount. We're going to turn down the amount so that it blends in with the original footage. Just a bit. So this is before, that's after. It's kind of soften things up there. And now we want to add a... The last thing we want to add is a brightness and contrast effect. And you just want to turn up the contrast just a tad bit. Uh, I usually have it around 10. As you can see that the image pops out now. 
So that's pretty much the basic uh, color correction that I do that really gives it that nice, almost uh, film-like look using only the color correction effects that you have within Premiere Pro. So I hope this helps you guys out.